The Kansas City Chiefs have won five of their last six matchups against the San Francisco 49ers. The last time the 49ers beat the Chiefs was back in 2014. So damn near 10 years ago. If, you, if you're talking about regular season or when you speculate when this game actually happened. But just about 10 years ago was the last time 49ers beat this team. Andy Reid, Pat Mahomes, and Travis Kelsey are like the current day Tom Brady, Bill Belichick, and Rob Gronkowski. They're just unstoppable going against other teams. They're all high IQ guys on the field, off the field, when breaking down film, all of that different stuff. When it's time, when it's time to adjust on the fly against defenses, they're all extremely talented at doing that. And, and and bro, you, you know the saying. They say you either live live long enough to die a hero or you live long enough to, to see yourself becoming a villain. Something like that. You know, you know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Something you know what I'm trying to say. But I, th I think the Chiefs are at that point where people are really turning them to be the villain because they've been winning so much. And that's what sports media does. You know, they, they like you to win your first few. And then after a while, they're like, all right, this guy's winning too much. You know, they're too good. We've seen it with Tom Brady. Joe Montana, Michael Jordan, even teams, the Golden State Warriors, they're finally falling apart that, that some people are super happy about. The Lakers were there at one point. The Spurs were there at one point. The Kansas City Chiefs, New England Patriots. The list goes on and on of the teams, you know, who, who were glorified at first when they began winning, and then now all of a sudden they became hated because they started winning too much. And this is how I know when a team is on the verge of greatness because you see this happen every era. You see this happen every time someone becomes instantly dominant, like, Kobe, LeBron, again, I, I can keep going with examples, but I'm not going to do that. But people start hating for no reason as soon as you're on the verge of greatness. That's what we've witnessed. Pat Mahomes ain't did nothing to nobody. Pat Mahomes ain't no, no, no guy who's in the media talking trash or nothing like that. He ain't did nothing but win ball games against your favorite player. <laughs> like, that's it. Travis Kelsey ain't did nothing to nobody. He don't be out here acting reckless on the media or saying anything that's controversial. No, the only thing he did was take Taylor Swift away from anybody who wasn't going to get her anyway. Andy Reid definitely ain't did nothing to nobody. Andy Reid done employed half the NFL with jobs that he's won from his past. Like, the Chiefs organization as a whole, they ain't did nothing wrong. They ain't did nobody wrong with contracts. They ain't did nobody wrong in terms of paying them. None of that type of stuff. The Chiefs have been a great organization as a whole, and the players have been great on the Chiefs as well. So this is how I know that people are just starting to hate because the Chiefs are becoming too good. And when it comes to breaking down football, you just got to give these guys their respect, bro. Andy Reid, Pat Mahomes, Travis Kelsey, and then a lot more other guys on the team too. I just use them because they're like the head of the offense right now. But they're really, they, they've already solidified the, how great they are when it comes to breaking down film and, and actually coming up with the game plan that's going to win them a ball game and and this is this is part of the reason why I want the Chiefs to win this is this is really part of the reason why I want the Chiefs to win and I, and I think I, I'll say this and then I'll wrap up I think people have to stop judging some of these teams these winning type of teams by what they do in the post or in the in the regular season people judge the Chiefs on what they do in the regular season all the time and it's like bro when the games matter they win all right, bro, why are we having this discussion about the Chiefs starting off 0-2 in the NFL season? It's because sports media is bored. NFL reporters are bored. Every time the Chiefs are in a game where they need to win, we see them close out that ball game and win the ball game. You got to remember, certain teams get bored after winning for so long. When you think about the, the, the great teams that's been out there, they get a little bored, bro. They, they Sometimes they, they take a night off. Sometimes they take a week off, and, and depending on the sport. Like, they get a little bored. And I, I use the Warriors as a perfect a perfect example of, you know, don't really judge a team until, you know, they're, they're performing in these crucial moments. That's when you really want to judge them on, on how well they really are because we've seen the Warriors win multiple championships. We've seen LeBron win multiple championships. But at the end of the day, whenever the season starts off on game one, them boys all just be flat. They be they be having to adjust. They play bad basketball. We see them going losing streaks. All kind of stuff that 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 doesn't look good. And I think the Chiefs, they done caught that bug a little bit. Because they're so excited of of going to the postseason each time, playing a great team, winning ball games, winning there when the game matters most. That when you play week one against the Las Vegas Raiders. You don't really care that much. Or when you play week two against the Detroit Lions who, who are fighting for survival, you don't really care that much. 
And that's not the way it should be, but that's just the way it happens when you win over and over again. Think about anything you've ever won in, if you're a winner, like that you've consecutively won in time after time. Eventually, you get a little bored. You're like, all right, you know, let's do something else. It's getting too easy for me, right? <laughs> I don't know. Some of y'all might not be able to relate to that because I don't know if you'd be out here winning or not. <laughs> but I'll put it this way. Look, I'll leave you with this thing here, man. Andy Reid has led his team to a Super Bowl, this team, this current Kansas City Chiefs team, to a Super Bowl in four of the five past NFL seasons. Now, prior to Andy Reid, the franchise went 49 straight years without a Super Bowl berth. And now they're back at it. They're clearly a dynasty. And I'm loving it, 